well, to my surprise, I really loved it. It was way easier than I imagined. I was a little nervous to get on this tiny of a board, um, and I couldn't believe it. I got up in an underpowered condition, um, and then the day just got better. I ended up riding it for a couple hours, and just I couldn't believe how easy it was. And that I don't think I would have been able to get up on my 50 liter board, which that's why I was incredibly surprised. Um, so yeah, I almost think it's easier to get up than my bigger board, which isn't what I was expecting. And then multiple other things. And I'm like, this board is just easier. Um, you know, I still feel like there's a little bit, there's progression for me on it for sure. But I was like, it, it wasn't an issue. I feel like the, the smaller size is just fits my body better, apparently. And um, between getting up easier, um, even the waves, the waves didn't knock me around as much. Um, so, yeah, I was I, I was blown out of the water. I just did not think I was ready to be on that small of a board. The round nose, I did multiple, um, what do I want to say? dives of my nose and I just pulled them right out. In fact, I did four at one after the other and pulled out and got right on foil. That would have never happened on my previous board. So yeah, just, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, the day started out, I was thinking I was just gonna be floating and feeling what that small of a board was to float on. And I ended up popping right up first, first attempt and stayed out for a couple hours and, and couldn't believe it. So I was on a 3.5 and uh, like I say, started out totally underpowered and then within about 45 minutes, I was completely overpowered and it just, it wasn't an issue. It was just easier. It's like not having maybe the extra board, the extra swing weight, I guess, as they say. Um, it was just easy. Another huge surprise was that I thought for sure the, the foot switching was gonna be an issue because it is a pretty narrow board and it was just so much smaller. But um, what I found was like, it was actually easier because even though I'm in the process of starting to get the foot switches pretty dialed, I could do a sloppy foot switch and the board like just totally babysat me. Whereas on my board, my previous board, it would I would probably fall if I didn't do everything perfect. And, that just surprised me that this little board was that much easier to do a foot switch and even if it was super sloppy I was able to pull it out on foil. I, if I was to touch down it just pops right back even if um, even if you even if I stuck the nose which I did occasionally trying to get up and just maybe I was standing in the wrong place the nose just wants to pop right out. I don't know if it's just because of the, the curve or the roundness of the nose, but I've never experienced that on any board. So it's like I could literally almost pearl it and then just keep going and come out and pop right back up on foil. It was just, it's things I've never experienced before on my previous boards. So I was, I was really pretty stoked with it. It was pretty cool. Right now I'm about 110 and I would say I fluctuate between 110 and 115, but I'm pretty solidly right now at about 110 and I'm 5'3". Um, and as far as the, what I like to ride, I like mostly probably just being in the waves and I, I don't think I'm much of a freestyler, but I'm still pretty much in the, I would say, intermediate phase, beginner intermediate, just really trying to get my core stuff down, the foot switches and, you know, just started learning, trying to glide on the waves and things like that. And that was the other thing that just, I had a longer glide multiple times than I've ever had um, on my previous board. And it's like, I'm not even sure that I knew what I was doing, but I was doing it. Um, so it just kind of, everything started feeling much more natural. So um, yeah, I just had a, had a fabulous, fabulous fun day. It was very, it was very cool.